Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to do, teach you some principles for controlling leaf disease on your tomatoes. These are some of my container tomatoes. It's mid-August, I was away for a week, and when I came back with the continued humidity, rain, you know, lousy temperature, my tomatoes in the containers have diseases. And if you look closely, you can see spots on the leaves. It looks like a combination of leaf spot and early blight. But today's not really about identifying the disease because the principles of treating it are the same. You want to keep an eye on your tomato and you want to look for spotting in problem areas. And what you do is, you know, essentially remove the leaves that are damaged. This plant really has a lot of leaves that have spots. I'm not sure how well this tomato will end up doing. But you want to catch it early, remove the leaves, just cut them off, throw them out, don't put them in your compost pile. And then you want to spray the plant down with either wettable sulfur or baking soda. Don't mix them together. What I'm going to use today is wettable sulfur, and you can see that over there. It's basically a powder sulfur that you mix one tablespoon per gallon of water and you spray that on your tomato your tomato leaves and what that does is makes an inhospitable environment for the spores to these leaf spots uh, makes it inhospitable to them so when they spread or wind puts them on on the leaf because of the wettable sulfur they don't continue to grow and damage the plant However, wettable sulfur is not a cure. It just prevents the spores from uh, germinating, I guess is the right word, and spreading up your plant. So I'm going to take the leaves off of this plant and then just show you the next step of the process. I removed most of the leaves. Some spots remain, but this plant really got a lot of spots throughout the whole plant and since I was gone I couldn't catch it early enough and I don't want to take off everything because there'll be no leaves left to help power the plant and grow. However when I spray it with the wettable sulfur that will slow the process down and what I hope is that the spray slows the spores down and the clean leaves grow more and the plant at least gets to mature the fruit that's on the plant right now and get them to being red. Over here is my black plum which has dead leaves and that really came from the heat. There wasn't really a disease on there. Uh, the disease from the plant right in front didn't jump over here. I looked, there's a couple of spots, but it, you would think that the disease would just spread over there. And the Baxter bush cherry over here is doing pretty well. However, I'm gonna spray all these plants. And again, I have a one gallon sprayer. I use wettable sulfur. There's another formula you can use for baking soda but I decided to use the wettable sulfur. I think that works a little bit better when it gets hot in the garden. And all I'm gonna do is put the sprayer on the ground and you just really soak the leaves down. You wanna get the underside, whoop, you wanna get the underside, the top of the plant, the base of the plant, Just soak it down so that you see the liquid with the wettable sulfur just dripping off your plant. And that's essentially what you do. You want to do this when you have sort of an infestation, so to speak. You want to do this every three days uh, for about a week or so, and then you can go to once a week. But you're really using the spray to keep the spores from spreading throughout your tomato plant. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and check out my YouTube videos. I now have over 70 garden videos. Thanks.